Hello, Hello from Epcot. So we haven't been to Epcot to go to the Food and Wine Festival in a little bit the past mm -hmm. couple times that we've come here. It's just been for, I think, Moana and then for Beer Garden. Yep. So we're going to go to the festival today and then also hopefully do the uh, the scavenger hunt the for Halloween. One. Yeah, I think that's returning this year. And then we can go try out some new food booths that they have, yeah. I think, at the festival. And I was trying to prolong talking because the monorail just went by, so I was trying to wait for it to come back around <laughs> because it's always like an aesthetic there nice thing is. to see. There it is. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so we're getting here around like 6:30. I think it's a not so scary party it's like night. 650. So, oh, <gasps> my time estimate was inaccurate. But the sun is going to be setting very soon, and it might be a little bit busier. We parked in the very like back of the parking lot. I got to take the mo or that the monorail, around <laughs> the trams at Epcot for the first time in like forever years. Right? Yeah, this is like the first time I think not we've ever was, like, taken them. Like that crazy. Or but anything. it was necessary because we parked so far away. Let's get some. Let's get the the, the, the pumpkin map. <laughs> He's so mean today. So we are heading over to probably Gateway Gifts to pick up our pumpkin map, presuming that they still have them available. Pluto's Pumpkin Pursuit. That's what the name of this was. So we can try to find all the pumpkins, I think, just throughout uh, World Showcase. No, 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 not World Showcase, the opposite. Uh, Future World World Celebration. So we are outside of Disney Traders, and this is what we got. Pluto's Pumpkin Pursuit map, as well as a gift card for the festival. Whoops, I just dropped that. Uh, and there's like a cool little chrome a uh, bracelet to go along with this gift card. It's a little bit busy over here for Spaceship Earth, but I think we are starting over by the seas. Spaceship Earth is illuminating over there, and we're over by Journey of Water, which has officially opened, and also Moana's meet and greet over there. But we are looking for our pumpkin. Brennan's trying to get in front of me. I see it. It's over there. Oh my gosh. Yay. Okay, this is a little bit easier to see. I can't zoom on this camera, of course, but way over there is Dory as a pumpkin. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna put uh, Dory. I almost said Bluey, because it was blue. All right, this is how we're gonna set the precedent. Yeah. Are so you gonna win? Dory, I hope so, <laughs> is going on the seas, What's which the is pretty obvious, right? right? The land pavilion? Yeah, probably okay. the land. We can work our way back. Sweet. We're over at the land right now, and Brendan, I already see it. Oh, it's way over here. This is the exit ramp for the land, and way up there is Chippendale. Yay, I'm doing so well. Roy's taking advantage of the fact that this is the time of day. My eyesight is the worst. You know, Brennan, if you just want to go get some food, I think I can handle this going forward. It's tempting. Now we're walking over towards Imagination, and I, I have a presumption of which this one's, which one's going to be over here. I think I see it. So there's Figment the pumpkin way up there. So they're putting the most reasonable pumpkins in their locations that they probably would belong, like Dory's over in the seas and Figment's over here, Journey into Imagination. But at least they're in somewhat different locations. I guess you gotta win some of these at some point. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Usually I'm good at these. I'm doing great. Also, it's a 45 minute wait for Figment over here. Mm -hmm. What? So what I'm thinking we can do is head over towards Port of Entry and Showcase Plaza. Maybe Disney Traders, but then sort of like work our way back so we can head back into the World Showcase once we're done with this. We're encountering this massive mural that they installed recently that we're not going to be able to see because it's pretty dark. Right now, but we will absolutely have to come back and look at all the details of this mural. So we're heading over to Port of Entry, then going back down Showcase Plaza, going through World Nature because we just came from World Discovery. Or no, flip that. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then we're going to end at Disney Traders. So this is Port of Entry. We're in the Showcase right now. We are looking for our pumpkin. Maybe it's inside? Brennan's trying to get a head start to see if she can find it. Where is this pumpkin? I'm trying to look up high for it. But I don't see it yet. Maybe it's not inside? Can we just presume that it would be? Interesting. Yeah, I do not see it inside at all, unless I'm missing it completely. So now we're back outside and turning around where we just came from. Maybe it's in the bushes? So Brennan, you found this one. It's right over there. It's very hard to see, but I think that's Joy, right? Yeah. Let me go and take that one off. Yeah. You've earned this one. Watch you have like an incredible comeback and just completely destroy me. Oh my gosh. So this is, I think, Showcase Plaza that we've established. Oh, I think I see it. Brennan, I see it. It's Olaf way over there. And there's Olaf. Probably the best lit one that we've seen tonight because it's getting dark. Are you getting nervous, Brennan? A little bit, but I'm like more nervous trying to look for these pumpkins where I'm not watching where I'm going in these crowds. It's very crowded. So now this is the plan. Like I mentioned, we're heading back through the plaza back to Creations, Connections, and then heading through World Discovery to then end at Disney Traders, and then get our Redemption Pumpkin Prize. There's a substantial line of people 
waiting to take pictures with the 100th anniversary logo with just all of this construction happening, which is supposed to open in a couple months. So there's supposed to be a couple pumpkins over here at Creations and Connections. Let's see if I can find them. I doubt these will be inside because they weren't last year, but they might. It might depend just the angle that we approach from. Like, it could be on top of this sign that we would know it because we're right underneath it. But it's getting a little bit nervous now. I'm trying to look for it where it was or would have been last year, I think. Maybe they did put them inside. So we walked inside and Brennan saw it. It's way up here. I did not see that whatsoever, so good job. It's a Minnie Mouse pumpkin over here above Minnie Mouse. That makes sense. And it's taking off the mini mouse. And then this is pretty shop. Yay! All right. Okay, off to connections. Maybe that one's inside too. We're trying to think if it's going to be more on the Starbucks side or the actual quick service side. Guess we're going to find out. We're heading over the quick service right now. We might be going outside to see if it's outside because we did not see it. Just the first glance anywhere up here where it might have been. So we have not seen it outside yet. And now that it's getting dark, it might be a little bit harder to see if it's like in the bushes somewhere. We're heading back around to the other entrance exit over here. Nope, not outside. So we're heading back inside, maybe over towards Starbucks. <laughs> Brennan just totally found it way over there. That one is hard. How did you find these? I was even wondering that too. I was like, what if they put it like back in the kitchen where we wouldn't normally look? And there it is. There's Daisy as a pumpkin. That one was good. I, I appreciate that. I'm glad. I was a little bit like nervous at first because of the whole, I don't know, Dory being at the seas and Figment being at <laughs> well, the Figment ride. And then these two were like so easy last year. Ah. Like they were outside, like on the signs pretty much. Yeah. So, All right, Guardians. Yay, good job, Disney. So we went outside and now we're over by Guardians of the Galaxy looking for a pumpkin over here. I think it was like way over there last year, but it should be different, hopefully. I think I see it. it. No, I saw it first. I saw what? First. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll let you. I'll let you take that one because you like you reacted to it faster than I could say that I saw it. I still don't know what this one is. It was here last year. It just looks like Groot, maybe. I don't know. Some alien pumpkin. Okay, so Brennan just pulled off that pumpkin, whatever it is. <laughs> You're catching up. I am. Okay. Have we found the same now? Uh, I think so. Maybe. So we are totally tied right now. How did that happen? I was doing so well. Dang it, Brennan saw it again. It's over here. It's Goofy. Brennan's doing so well now, but way up there, there's Goofy. There's Goofy right there. I think last year the pumpkin was over here, so that was a pretty good, consistent place to, uh, to put a pumpkin. So I really need to step up my game here if I want to try to catch up. Now you're winning. How'd that happen? Too much smack talk. Look what it does. <laughs> so now we're back over by Creations looking for a pumpkin over here. Hopefully somewhere relatively visible that I can find before Vernon. Okay, I don't see it over here. Oh God, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go back over here. So it was not back over by the entrance of Creations. So this is embarrassing because I found this last time, I think, <laughs> and it was over here across from the playground. Why would you put it this playground if it's not on the playground? Uh, yeah. Okay, wow. So I need to get every single remaining pumpkin if I, I want to win. Is it, you gotta get these two to tie or win? To win. Really? Because I'm too ahead of you right now. What? Right? So I found Goofy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, how many are there? There are 12. Whoops. Okay, so I can't win at all. Okay, we're over by the Odyssey. Now it's just so dark. We're heading inside right now. Where is it? Where is it? Is it up here? Ah! No! Where are you, pumpkin? Are you not up there? You're not up there. Why aren't you up there? Where could it be? Is it not in here at all? Oh man. Brennan's running back outside on the other side to see it. No, well, I officially lost. Way up there is Pluto. Brennan, <laughs> you just, you really did it, didn't you? You just came back hard and strong and fast and you got me. I think it came, uh, became more about getting You're hungry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, so we have one remaining pumpkin to find, and by process of elimination, it is going to be Mickey Mouse, yeah. right? There we go. So we're finally in the World Showcase, heading back over to Disney Traders for our final pumpkin, but look how busy it is over here. It's almost kind of a bummer, just the impact the Not So Scary has on the other parks, because people just have to go to Epcot, because Magic Kingdom closes. So I'm going to presume that Mickey... Is it there? What? Where's that fake? I miss it. No. <laughs> What? 
I was about to say I'm going to presume the Mickey's inside and there's Mickey right there. Okay, Brennan, nice. And there's Brennan putting on the final Yay. pumpkin sticker. <laughs> wow. I'm proud of you. That was that was incredible. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm also sad and upset. But let's redeem our pumpkin uh, map for our pumpkin prize. There's Mickey right up there in the window. So over there they had Mickey and Minnie and Goofy and Stitch and Pluto as pumpkin prizes. And we decided to go and get Pluto because it's Pluto's pumpkin pursuit. So I think we're heading back towards Mexico to finally start our adventure around the World Showcase to get some dinner. We are very hungry. We actually, I think, are going to stop here at Char and Chop. This is a new booth that just opened. They have roasted porchetta, grilled impossible spicy sausage, and then meat assorti. So Brennan's getting a line over here. So Brennan yeah, ended up getting the there. roasted porchetta with uh, yeah. lemon parsley salsa yeah. verde yeah. and uh, shaved fennel salad. And shaved fennel salad. Okay. And then you got a Powerade too. I thought about stopping over here, but that line is just, it's just a little bit too long. Same with Mexico. So I'm holding out for Germany, I think. I like to think as long as we can sort of make it out of this area, this Mexico world show plaza, world showcase plaza, Canada area that we can walk a little bit easier, hopefully. We could also stop off at China. That does sound pretty good too. I'm just really hungry. Never mind, the line was just way too long. So Germany it is. Andy also had a really long line back there, but I think I need to go and just commit to a line. They're all going to be long, but I think I'm definitely holding out for Germany, even if the line is somewhat longer over here. This is also the Alps. Brennan likes this one. Are you gonna go here? Brennan's getting your warm chocolate cheese. This is a pretty long line, but it'll be worth it. I got my chicken noodle in, and Brennan is sitting right over here by the wishing well. So this is my chicken noodle in, and then Brennan got the raclette cheese with the ham, and we're just sitting sort of over here just on the ground in Germany. My chicken noodle in is still consistently one of the most value and expensive filling options at the festival. I love that so much, and now we're in line over at the bakery in Germany to get some treats. So this is what we are getting, this pumpkin caramel butter bar. We've had the regular caramel butter bar, and it's phenomenal, so we're getting this one. Oh my god, they have so many delicious treats here. Okay, so we got our butter bars and we're going to go eat them in the, uh, in the in the dark probably. I might have mine later though because I'm still hungry and we have less than an hour to get some food from some booths before the bar closes. Passing by Spain, even though the line is not long at all, I think I'm going to go to Japan. I was hoping that it might be a little bit less busy as we made it further into the showcase, but that is not the case. We just passed by Italy and I think we're going to bypass America too. I think that there's some food over at Japan that I really wanted to try, but I didn't have the appetite for last time. We made it over to Japan, and uh, I might go inside real quick just to maybe check on some stuff, some official business. What? So I just went inside to check out the Pokemon 151 Pushka Bundles and Minikins because I've been looking for them and then I did not have them. So I got the beef Wagyudon, which is traditional Japanese rice bowl with American Wagyu beef over steamed white rice. And then you got the, uh, the teriyaki chicken bun. There's Greece. they have the spinaca pita over here. I think I'm okay though right now. I think that I'm going past Morocco. Maybe Brennan's not though. We don't have a lot of time left. We have like half an hour until the fireworks. So we're sitting at a table inside. And this is what Brennan got, the Moroccan bread with the various dipping sauces. Mm -hmm. So Brennan's sitting right inside and I'm heading over to Belgium. So what I got is the beer braised beef with gouda mashed potatoes, I think. And this is next to, this is the Belgian booth next to the uh, what is that? The, the Brazil booth? Okay, so the fireworks are starting in just a few minutes. I think we're done with food and we have our dessert here. We're probably going to be trapped by the fireworks here. It's just so busy tonight. I'm so taken aback by it. Passing through the UK right now, the Rose and Crown, and then Canada, and we'll made it out of the World Showcase, but the fireworks are starting in like a minute now. This is the Ireland Pavilion, which is one of my favorites, definitely, but need to have a little bit more of an appetite. The fireworks have started, and we're Trying to at least beat some of the crowd towards the front of the park. This is the Canada booth, which is now closed, as well as I think Australia is up here, and um, what else? Hawaii. So there are a couple of new booths over here. This is the Swirl Showcase, and then there's a new one over here too. This is Bubbles and Brine, so that's pretty cool. Fireworks. We're going to come back during the daytime so we can actually see this. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but I was really excited to see this mural. It's just a little bit too dark to really appreciate it. So I think we are heading out of the park right now. There goes the monorail with the fireworks in the background. That is a, I would love to do that one day. Just the timing of that, ride the monorail while the fireworks are happening. It's gotta be so cool. This is really cool that we saw this in Disneyland before we even saw it at Walt Disney World. And I got the quote right. The firework finale is happening right now. And we are on our way out of the park. It was a fun trip to Epcot. We were only here for like a couple hours. And now the fireworks are over. Well, now they're over. Oh no, <laughs> sorry. I thought they were done. No way, they're still happening. There was a pause. 
There was a pause, Brennan, there was a pause. Boom, 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 okay, I get it, I was wrong. Boom, 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 okay. Boom, 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 boom. All right, that sounds like a finale. Now Spacious Birth is lighting up again after the fireworks are over. Definitely, actually over now. Now we have to go all the way back to our car, but we have a tram that can take us back, hooray. There's the monorail. There are a couple random green lights over here, so we need to come back to go to Moana at night. That's definitely a must do. I've heard so many incredible things about Moana at night, but just the virtual line. Presuming that it's still happening, I know that they had to do that for like the opening day. I don't really know, we'll find out. There's a red light too, what's going on? I'm so excited to get home and use our new sipper cup here to put something in there. Okay, it's blurry, that's fine. And then also we need to eat this. So that was our trip to Epcot to do Pluto's Pumpkin Pursuit, which is an adorable scavenger hunt that I'm so glad that they started to do here at Epcot. And just the other versions of this that they had, they had Mickey Minnie and Goofy and Stitch and then Pluto too. And we wanted to get Pluto because it's Pluto's Pumpkin Pursuit. It just sounded like it made sense. And then we made a trip around the showcase. We got some food. We didn't go to all of the new food booths. There might've been one that I was missing. I wasn't really impressed well. with it anyway. Yeah. I don't know. This was just sort of about going to the festival again after not being back here for sort of a little bit. And hopefully we can come back again. I want to see that mural. I want to see Figment. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Moana again. There's a lot that's happening in Epcot that I would really very much so like to see again and, and do, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out with us at Epcot again uh, tonight to do this scavenger hunt before uh, Halloween, which is in, in about a week now. So I'm glad that we were able to do that. We need to come back and do Remy as well. Uh, oh, yeah, we haven't done Remy at all. Yeah. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Have a great day and goodbye. Goodbye.